So, what movie did we just see right now, Monkey? Unfortunately, not Sing. No, not Sing. Because, Rogue One. Because, you know, it, it, Rogue One was just such a predictable movie, and Sing, there's so many plot points from the trailers that yeah. haven't been revealed yet. No, like, it's a complete mystery what's going to happen with the elephant. And also, I like... Mean, yeah, Brad Jones, you thought that they didn't mention that the gorilla was supposed to help his dad in the trailer. <laughs> no, no, they show that in the trailer. And also, I, 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 I'm just dying with anticipation if the housewife pig is gonna, like, see the value in her family after being overworked or not, right? Don't, like, it's gotta be some sort of... Ha and I is don't the know. theater gonna get flooded? Oh, God. Uh, could you hold this, please? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, enough with the, uh, with the teasing. So, how was Rogue One, Monkey? Nice, but in terms of the new Star Wars movies, I think I'm leaning more towards Force... Well, it's... Force... This had the more... This, like, Force Awakens, the story was more recycled, but I think I preferred the characters in that one. I'm le I've got to say, I'm kind of the opposite. I'm leaning more, way more towards Rogue One than Force Awakens for me. Uh, Rogue One definitely felt the most like a war movie out of all the Star Wars movies, which was very much intentional. Oh boy. Uh, of course, this is going to be a, a non-spoiler review right now. We're just kind of headed for California Adventure, so we're just going to film this as much as we can until we get to the gates of the parks. Yeah, so, well, for me, it's to say I felt much more attached to Finn and Rey than the, than the guy that the two leads from this movie. That's very true, yeah. Jin and Cassian, they, they weren't the strongest characters. Uh, yeah. But I will say that this might have a better cast of supporting characters. I really like all the supporting characters in Maybe this. Maybe they're more memorable supporting characters. Yeah, because you have uh, you have Alan Tudyk. I, I can't. Him, so. Alan Tudyk's the highlight, right? Yeah. You know, it's kind of interesting with his character and his character and another character from Force Awakens. It's kind of interesting how you could argue that they are kind of that's recycled characters from the original movies. Okay, yeah, wait, but, I, but they're still really enjoyable characters. Like, I mean, they could have essentially just made Alan Tudyk's character IG-88, and it wouldn't have even really made that much of a difference. I don't get it. IG-88, the bounty hunter droid. He looks just like him. Oh, I was thinking of uh, other famous droid. No, are you thinking of BB-8? Well, I'm talking about BB-8 and... Alan Tudyk as, like, you could see them as being, uh, like, the new 3PO and R2. Right, right. But there's, even then, they're still super enjoyable. Like, BB-8 is still an enjoyable, adorable guy, and Tudyk is totally the highlight of this. Tudyk is absolutely, like, Hilarious. It, like, pay your money to go see Tudyk in this movie. That's all I can yeah. say. He brings back the heart and charm of Star Wars. Uh... Again, not going to go into spoilers, but a lot of death in this movie. A lot of yeah, death. This, uh, <laughs> sorry to bring Kubo back into this, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> like, in terms of that, this was certainly a bit more, you know... There's a Kylo Ren Build-A-Bear. What? <laughs> oh, and hold on, hold on. Let me point out the Captain America car for Blue Dragon 5, since we're walking by. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you see, Monkey, the problem with all these cars is that... They're from the Cars movies. Nobody wants to see those. And you can don't... just go to the park and get them. They have cool animatronics. There's no animatronic of Captain America. Uh, but, but what about that, though? What about the Captain America car? No, I want that. Why don't they sell that? <laughs> I mean, a real car, not just a toy. All right, thanks, Blue okay. Dragon 5. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, in terms of death toll, this is ballsier than Kubo, but Kubo, I cared more about them. I mean, yeah, 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 but I do think that there's at least a couple, like, major supporting character deaths here that oh, really yeah. got to me. Oh, yeah, certainly. Like, I'm like, no, no, not him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were. But, but, yeah, I agree with that. Uh-huh. I mean, on the whole, like, like the, on the whole, you could say. Uh, let's see, I would say the action in this movie, especially uh, the... Like, the, the aerial battles, I would say, are a little bit of a step up from Force Awakens. Correct, yeah. Uh, and, of course, like, the last couple minutes. Oh, yeah. Like, the, oh, yeah. the final scene of the, like, what were you saying, two minutes? Like, that was... Huh. 
Hickman. Wow. Not going to say any va anything about Vader. All we'll say is that he shows up for a very brief time, but it's absolutely worth it when he does show up. Yeah. Like, That's all I'll say. I'll just say this. <laughs> yep. Like that was a wall. Hold on, hold on. Do that gesture again. Woo. Yeah, so if you can't tell, Monkey is moving his arm up. <laughs> You'll just have to decipher what that means, folks. But well, yeah, the last minute, minute or two, the stuff that leads. The stuff that leads... It's not really a spoiler, yeah, right? This is the 1776 of the Star Wars movie. Yeah, you come know on. It's gonna end. And you know they're, the basic goal they're gonna end. <laughs> but it ends in such a beautiful, them. full yeah. circle kind of way. Like, the the end of Revenge of the Sith was pretty full circle. I would say this is even more ridiculously yeah. full circle. <laughs> and, they, and they clear something up. There's something Yes, clear yes. Up. One of the most massive plot holes in the entire Star the Wars canon. The cleared up is pretty deep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I think that was when you and I were both like, okay, we're in this. <laughs> uh, also, in terms of genius ideas, like... Uh, something they do with Star Destroyers near the end, the way they use Star Destroyers near the end. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's something that we haven't seen s happen to Star Destroyers in yeah. movies before, the yes. They use them to their yes. advantage. Yes. That, that was pretty genius. Like a genius way of do, accomplishing their goal. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I am definitely excited to watch this tomorrow night when I get home from my trip. I'm going home, monkey. Are you sad? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you'll get to see a, scene or a few scenes you missed. Yeah, I did have... <laughs> well, that's the thing, monkey. I was like drained when I walked into the theater. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I know I'm not going to get through this thing unless I get some energy, some caffeine. So I go in, I buy the biggest Coke I could find. This giant, like... Like it's like bigger. After, like after the movie started. Yeah, and it. Uh, you, uh, oh, sing trailer! Oh, I've got. I'm this. I'm gonna use this as my excuse to go. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, but it's just uh, you know. So I had this giant, giant drink, and I drank it all down in like the course of like 40 minutes or so. And then, of course, nature called, right, as the big frickin' battle scene's going on, and... You missed a fun cameo. I, I did miss a very important cameo. We won't say what it is, but... Well, but people in the theater applauded when, yeah. this, when the cameo was I didn't miss any Vader, so I'm glad yeah, of that. It's weird to see the... the I know, right? It, that, that's what I love about those new security checkpoints. It's great. It really opens up this place. Okay, yeah, exactly. It's not like a prison. <laughs> Never gonna find me. Woo! No, no, you can't find me. You're a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Good luck getting here and now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, monkey. Uh, we've seen, we've seen the Return of the Dead. I you lose. <laughs> uh, how would you rank these in terms of overall Star Wars movies? Uh, probably somewhere in the high middle. High middle. For me, it's number one, A New Hope. Number two, Empire. Honestly, probably number three, Rogue One. Honestly. Like, it's that good that I think it's a little bit better paced. It's got better characters and better action than Return of the Jedi. Oh, we're going to DCA. Yeah. Oh, you're just... Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so what are we going to try and get for Blue Dragon 5? <laughs> yeah, Blue Dragon 5, it's my last day here. The lines have been insane. But we're going to try for... What is it, Monkey? The captain. Yeah, we're going to try and get you a captain, captain greeting. Phasma. Okay. <laughs> we're going to try and get you a Captain Phasma, Blue Dragon 5. Look, there's some... Uh, okay, what other captain? There's some exposed sca sca scaffolding on the tower that yeah. looks different. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Let's see, what other captains can I joke on? Let's say there's Hook, uh, and, uh, what's her name from Pleasure Planet? Oh god, yeah, right, right. Uh, Barbosa, Jack Sparrow. Captain Barbosa, we're going to sink your ship! <laughs> Alright, yeah, well. Yeah, the small world skulls are gonna sink the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that they arrive on one of the small world boats with, and shoot the wicked wench down? But suffice to say, I definitely give Rogue One a glowing recommendation. Um, yeah, I certainly recommend it. I let's just let's stop the, here. I wish the main characters were more interesting. Yeah, I'll have to go back with my list and kind of see where I'd rank it. 
Right now, I'm thinking it might be like either just inside of my top 10 of the year or just outside of my top 10 of the year, but I'll have to go back and thoroughly look. But in the meantime, Monkey, let's head over to California Adventure. Oh yeah, that exists. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, it exists. All right, see you guys later.